volume to one. Pivot! Pivot! They don't know that we know that they know. We were on a break. Hi guys, it's Katie. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. Super glad you decided to join. If you can't tell by the intro, we are going to talk about the Friends collection that Makeup Revolution did. I know this came out a while ago. I don't care. I am a Friends fanatic. I love Friends. It is my absolute favorite show. So that is what we're gonna talk about today. And as always, please, please, please give it a cheesy thumbs up if you like this video. That really helps me know what you guys like to watch. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit the little subscribe button. You can become part of my little Jonesy fam. And if you hit the bell, you'll get notified of when I post new videos, which is twice a week. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, you guys, I am super freaking excited to talk about this. Again, I know this came out a while ago. I just now got everything in the mail. It was on a 20% off deal on MakeupRevolution.com, I want to say maybe two weeks ago. And because of that, I was like, well, it's on sale. Of course I have to get it. Duh. I did not buy everything. I just bought six lip glosses and then I got the three nine pan palettes that are Monica, Phoebe, and Rachel. They did have some other uh, larger palettes. There was a lobster one and there was a taxi one and there were some other nine pan palettes that um, they were really cute. They looked like a little coffee cup. I didn't grab those because they were very neutral and I just felt like I did not need those. And then the lipsticks were sold out. Darn it. But that's okay. So I just picked up the palettes and the lip glosses and that is what we're going to talk about. So I'm going to talk about the palettes first. So these are the three palettes I bought. I have the Monica palette, uh, the Rachel palette, and then the Phoebe palette. I am wearing the Monica palette on my eyes today. I'll uh, try to put some pictures of the look for you guys as well, just to get some close-ups. This is the Monica palette. It's a nine pan palette, and I used, I think, six of the colors. So I used, let's see, this orangey shade Obsessive. I put that in my crease. And then the red one, the Geller Cup, I put that in my crease as well. In the outer corner, I put frizzy and I didn't really like how it looked to be honest that was the shade that I had the most trouble building up and I had to spend quite a bit of time doing that I wasn't loving the way it looked so I actually took more of this red shade the Geller cup and put it over top of the outer corner it made this really pretty kind of purpley brown shade that I was really happy with I took the shade clean right here that is in my inner corner and a little bit on the inner lid and then this coppery shade chef is what is in the middle of my lid oh and I also used um, the shade chicken right here to kind of blend everything out I was actually very impressed with the shades and the pigment I was just Wow, floored by it. I've used Makeup Revolution a few times before. I have the Emily Noel palettes and then I had a uh, kind of a fiery type palette that I've used before and I do like the shades and the way the shadows perform. So I don't know why. I feel like I just kind of had low expectations and the like I said, the shadows performed great. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch this for you on my arm, and then I'll talk about the other two palettes that I have as well. Yeah, you guys, these shades are just beautiful. Okay, you guys, so that is all of the swatches. That's a little bit of a better view for you. So I will go ahead and read the names. So this one is Clean, Chef, Geller's Cup, Chicken, Twins, Frizzy, Bing, Obsessive, and Thanksgiving. So as you can see, they are quite beautiful, very pigmented. And like I said, I was really impressed the way the shadows performed. So that, like I said, that was the Monica palette. So I will show you the Rachel palette up next. 
Okay, so up next, this is the Rachel palette. You can see it's all of the palettes I would say are pretty neutral and they have just some pops of colors that are really pretty. I have not used this one yet. I have not even swatched it. So it's going to be swatched on camera for you guys. So let me go ahead and swatch everything out on my arm. Again, you guys with this pigment. Wow, that is absolutely stunning, especially this shade. Oh, baby. Okay, here's everything on my arm. Again, uh, I think this is a better view for you guys, so I will take you through all of the shade names. So this white shade is Shopping on a Break, and this beige one, beige one is called Dinosaur. Then we have a 90s here, Barney's, and Tag. You guys, this copper shade, OMG, it is stunning. This is called Chip, Push Over, and Crush. So I will say the lighter shades in this palette I feel like are a little more um, subdued compared to the Monica palette. I don't know if that's just the shades that they picked, but I found that quite interesting. Can we also talk about how there's a shade name called Tag and Chip, but she did not end up with Tag or Chip at all. Like, why didn't you have a shade name called Ross? Like, <laughs> That's who she ended up with. <laughs> All right, the final palette I have for you guys is the Phoebe palette. Again, I have not swatched this one at all, so I'll be doing, I guess, live swatches with you guys. So this is how the palette looks. I feel like the shade range in this one doesn't speak to me quite as much. I feel like they are definitely more subdued than the other two palettes. So let's see how they swatch. So I mean, on my finger, they look pretty decent. Again, I'm just wondering how they're gonna show up swatched on my arm, because they are lighter. Well, I am surprised they are swatching beautifully. I don't know why I'm surprised. I used the Monica palette and it was gorgeous. I mean, I guess it's better to be surprised than disappointed though, right? So I do wanna say there's a pressed glitter in the Phoebe one, and I have glitter under my nail now from swatching. Cool. All right, here are the swatches. So I will take you through the shade names. We have Smelly Cat, Lobster, and Triplet. We have Ice, we have Flaky, and we have Buffet. You can't really see Buffet, it's very um, pale. And then the last row, we have Science Boy. This is the pressed glitter. And then we have Bike, and then we have Ditsy. So I will say these swatched quite beautifully. I think out of all the palettes, the Rachel is the one that I'm least impressed with as far as swatches go. Again, I have not used the Rachel or the Phoebe palette on my eyes, so I cannot speak to that, but I am excited to use them. The, the pigment, you guys, is insane. Like, beautiful. All right, that was it for the palette. So I'm going to move on to the lip glosses, which you guys, this packaging is so freaking cute. Look at the caps on all of them. Like, ugh, I just, I'm deceased. It's so freaking cute. So I did do some lip swatches, so I will insert photos of everything. So I'm just gonna kind of gonna go through each one and I'll also swatch on my hand to show you and then you'll see the photo up here with the lip swatch. So Rachel is just a standard clear gloss. This was my first time using the Makeup Revolution lip glosses. I've never used them before. I think the formula is pretty comfortable. I think they're slightly sticky, but not sticky to the point where I think it's uncomfortable on the lips and it bothers me. Like, can you guys see how they stick together just a little bit? But again, I still think they're fairly comfortable on the lips. So the Joey shade is just a pale nude pink. And like I said, you guys, I'm gonna swatch all of these on my hands for you too. Chandler, um, this is more of, I would say kind of like a bubblegum pink on the lips. It still looks nude, but these glosses are pigmented. Again, I was very surprised by this. Like I said, I didn't know what to expect. I've never used them before. Pleasantly surprised with the pigment on these. Like, wow. 
So the Monica shade, I would say this is the best My Lips But Better shade. The only thing I don't like is there's glitter in it, which I think you guys can see that. Just the slightest hint of glitter, and I don't like that. I do not want glitter on my lips, you guys. Just not a fan. Buzz is outside the door, you guys, and he's snorting. <laughs> Next up we have Ross, and I was pleasantly surprised by how this looked on my lips. It's definitely a hot pink, but I still think it's a wearable hot pink. Like I definitely feel like there's some hot pinks that they're too, there's too much blue in them and they just, they just look kind of weird on the lips, but I feel like that shade's very wearable. And then Phoebe, is a uh, kind of a deep plummy color. That is what I'm wearing on my lips. I've been wearing it the entire video. So the only thing I don't like, can you guys see this? The like little goop. Let me do, let me do that again so you guys can see it. Look at that. Like, so I do feel like they're kind of messy. So again, like, just keep it in mind if you're buying these or any of the lip glosses, they do seem messy. Here are all the shades. You can't even see Rachel because it's, um, you know, just a clear gloss. But then we have Joey, Chandler, Monica, Ross, and Phoebe. Guys, so much pigment. I I was blown away by how much pigment you, there is, you guys. Like, wow. Especially the these two darker shades. Just stunned, <laughs> you guys. Like, no, no words. <laughs> so that was everything I bought from the collection. Um, I apologize, it's a little bit of a short video. This was just kind of like a haul and showing you what I got. Definitely not a first impressions. Um, I mean, I can speak for the first impression on this shade and the Monica palette, but the other shades I can't really speak to because I have not really worn them yet. I will definitely keep you guys updated, but that was everything I had for you guys today. As always, I really appreciate that you are here. Whoever you are, guy, girl, wherever you are in the world, thank you, thank you for tuning in and watching this video. It just you guys, it really does mean the world to me. I love creating these videos and your support is just an added bonus. It's like the, the icing and the sprinkles on top of the cake, you guys. That was everything I had today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next one. Bye.